An Esquimalt woman who is living with cancer is celebrating a small victory tonight. She's battling two types of cancer. She's been on chemotherapy for more than a decade, and she is in serious need of help. Six times she has asked the B.C. government to help pay for the nutritional supplements she needs so she is well enough to undergo surgery. But every time the answer is no. At least it was until tonight. Now she has hope. CTV's Joe Perkins has her story. Jolene Gammon's road has been longer than most. She lives with blood and breast cancer, gets by on disability payments, and until today could not get help for nutritional supplements doctors say she needs. I was devastated and desperate. I had no idea what I was going to do. Since 2009, she has not been able to afford her nutritional supplements she says cost $245 a month. So she eats what she can afford. It's two cans of soup, a couple of cans of something else, half a loaf of bread, quarter pound of margarine. There's not a lot for a week. In September of 2011, the Ministry of Social Development rejected Gammon's sixth application for help. Word got out. This is someone, Mr. Speaker, who is seriously ill, who has applied already six times. The minister now says one more time. Why won't the minister act today to support Jolene to get healthy once again? The Esquimalt Legion wanted to help too. Putting together um, the, the list of supplements that uh, Sharon needs. But the GM says the Social Development Ministry was planning to reduce Gammon's disability allowance if she was given any money. I guess uh, they felt if she was getting additional funding from other sources that, that it takes away from her, her disability. So It made for a massive mess, one that less than 48 hours later is being cleaned up. Uh, yes, so uh, the we, we have uh, decided, or I have decided, that indeed this woman should be getting the supplement. Gammon was told today she will receive $205 a month. It is still not enough to pay for her supplements, but it is a start, and a change critics are applauding. Regrettably, it was Maureen Karajanis having to bring it to the floor of the legislature that made government respond the way they did. I think this is the most callous and cruel position that this government is demonstrating. It's not often that a personal case comes up in the legislature, but it did, and Gammon's grateful. It's so wonderful that there are people who care about other people. The ministry says it is looking at ways to streamline similar situations in the future. Future. As of today, the Legion says the government uh, is stepping back. Day. The Legion plans to make up the funding Gammon isn't receiving from the province, which before today was nothing. Joe Perkins joins us now live in the studio with more. Joe, the opposition's taking the credit, or at least some of it, for putting pressure on the government. But was there a reason that the government changed its mind? Well, that's the Minister Cadu says she her, uh, first heard Jolene Gammon's story on Tuesday, and that was in question period. Uh, since then, she says she's gone back, reviewed some of her ministry's administrative policies. She says the process in place for people like Jolene or anyone that wants some health funding is complicated, even confusing at times. She also says the process for her staff on the other end was causing some confusion as well. She says a plan is being worked on to simplify the process on both ends. No word on when or even if any changes will come into effect. All right, Joe Perkins, thank you. You're welcome.